Hello, and welcome to another 8-minute demo. Today we're going to be talking about a weird, quirky thing in the designer. Uh, works in both 6.3 and the beta. I don't know if it'll be there for RTM, but it's zooming in on the runbook designer, so it helps you design your policies. I don't know if it's intended functionality, but it certainly works, and it, it's, it's kind of cool. So let's take a look at that. My name is Charles Joy. I'm a Senior Business Development Manager for Microsoft. Today we're going to take a very quick look at something that uh, I recently found that's very interesting. And um, it has nothing to do with actual runtime. It's all design time. And it's there. Uh, I don't know if it'll stay, but it's, it exists in the beta and it exists in uh, OIS 6.3. So maybe it'll stick around. And it's one of the functions that you may be used to in Windows. Uh, and it's zooming in. And it's control um, and then using the scroll button on your mouse. So why would you use this? Well, you open up a query database object or something like that and you you know the text is real small and when you go to expand it doesn't get any bigger but let's say you do expand the window out and you want to read that text a little clearer you hold down control and then you go ahead and use the scroll button on your mouse and it gets larger. Now if you make any edits it will stay the same so if you're doing something like where name like zoom and you hit OK it'll go back down to size some of the windows have it and some of them don't but the expand windows I've found actually do have it it, it plays no bearing on the actual runtime because it's just a view during that time you could see I named this policy zoom in so if I check this in and then run it for, through the runbook tester I should be able to find at least that one record and it even works in here so give it a test see how it works and you can see that we did get data here it does not work in this window there is no expand in here so you're gonna have to play around with it but for the most part you should be able to go ahead and zoom in on some of the stuff that needs more detail like if you're doing uh, field functions or something like that that would be very helpful as well and I'll give you an example of that right now so I'm just going to copy this guy, paste. This time, instead of pulling from an actual SQL table, we're going to pull from the previous data, which is published data coming from a database object. So it's a bunch of concatenated fields with semicolons. So we'd use a field function. And you can see it's hard to see. So if I expand and zoom in, now it's a little easier to see what I'm typing. Field, open paren, subscribe to return data. Now, when you do do this it does make it smaller I've noticed we'll go ahead and just zoom back in no big deal start typing again so that's the separator and then I want field 2 and paren and now I can see my field function very clear I'm gonna hit OK finish and now we'll run through the runbook tester again and we should be able to see the results you can see it's already done well maybe let me zoom in for you so uh, it's, it's already selected that and I didn't have a trouble seeing it and I could check all the commas and it should help overall with you know error checking since you have to do all that error checking with your eyes <laughs> uh, or run it and uh, see what happens so I hope this is helpful this is probably one of the shortest eight minute videos I've done so um, enjoy we certainly appreciate you watching thank you